every truth has some cost and also some returns for this particular video i might have to pay the cost but i want that you get the returns because indian design education and choice of college choice of course is still in a very messy condition and there's a huge gap to realize that design education is way more different from general education in this video this dark side of indian design education i will try to clarify few vital points which might change your way of thinking you might be a student you might be an aspirant or you might be a parent parent the whole purpose of this particular video is to aware you thoroughly so it is your responsibility to watch this video till the end to get an understanding about design education about where you are standing in terms of indian design education platform so first thing first government design college why so there are few colleges in india which is remarkably good and it's a completely uh, stand apart from others and the main name in that league is nid national institute of design after nid it's nift which is the most important college and then uh, iits they have few design departments in few iits these three are primary main colleges which comes under government college sort of other than those another name comes up is fddi are they all government colleges do you think they are design colleges run by government if we want to educate ourselves the first step we will get to know there are no colleges in india they are properly government college so the first fight government college or private college collapsed from this point but yes they are partially government they are actually bearing the profit and loss of being an autonomous body so now you need to understand that what is autonomous body means because nid nift iits and fddi all are autonomous body autonomous body means they are not fully government they are professors and other staffs and all they are not getting all the advantages what they supposed to get if those are fully government so as a student perspective it is not your concern what is your concern i'm telling you in the first point people ask for government colleges because they think that government college will have subsidies in terms of fees which is not there in these colleges nid nift uh, iits fdd as a not very cheap college they are equivalent in terms of cost price as per the private colleges even there are many private colleges and many good private colleges are cheaper than these colleges so the first facility what people think they will get the subsidy it's not there still fddi is a lower end and nid uh, nift is also in a higher end in terms of education cost and tuition fees other cost are same hostel traveling material these all you will require that the first myth i wanted to clear it's all about the government design colleges now the question arises that why there are no such proper government design colleges maybe there are one or two but we don't know why because design college needs lots of equipments lots of infrastructure and updating all this equipment and infrastructure in every 2 3 years that also important so this required a cost and that cost either indian government is still not ready to bear or it's not possible with lot of subsidy because it's actually cost and design colleges should at par with market demand market means the job market and the technology and the business module and everything the process actually changing each year or each 2 3 years so the equipment also changing so also to keep a tap with the market you need new equipments you need new infrastructures which is actually bit difficult to be a 
completely government college because government college has a lot of obligations. So that's why you won't find any proper good college which is government which is giving a very subsidy uh, rate in terms of uh, fees and also which has all the infrastructure and equipment. Now, what is the dark side in that? One, if you want to be successful as a designer, you need all this infrastructure. It's not the fees. If you are paying 50 lakhs for a course, you won't become a designer. Or if you pay 5,000 for a course, that also will make you a designer. It's all depending on you are getting the proper infrastructure or not. And you can't avoid that anyway. If a communication designer need a software, they need to learn the software. It's not a matter that your college has taught or not. You have paid whatever fees and whatever subsidy and whatever quota even you have got. Doesn't matter. Job won't come in terms of quotas, in terms of fees, in terms of government, in terms of private. Job will only come in terms of your skill. And the important part when I'm talking about quotas and all, you need to understand that but I said that these colleges, these uh, autonomous bodies has the profit and loss both from being autonomous because ADHA 50% government and due to that they have a lot of quotas, they have a lot of categories. Now what is happening? These quotas and categories, they are getting entrance in a lesser cut off mark and all. I have no objection to any of these, but I have a point to say of to all the students it is not about getting a government college and not about getting new 10 id with less cut off marks you are not succeeding anywhere it is all about how we are passing out from those colleges because in design there are very less government job where your quotas will come to use private job won't give you any salary based on your any quota or category they are all are equal only quality man and there is the dark side people thinks they get entry with quotas all these things and all they will get a government job and all but there is no such government job i am not saying in zero government job but i am not saying that much government job which everywhere keep producing requirements it's not there so what happening that is a disbalance you are looking for a government college keeping mind subsidy it is not there keeping mind government job it is almost not there Whatever you are getting, you are getting an easy entry sometimes if you are coming under quota or uh, if you are getting a brand name, which is very important. Any day, I can't deny the importance of NID, only NID. Because we have seen competition to other colleges. I have seen uh, private colleges working equally like NIFT, private colleges working equally like, yeah, better than FDDI, better than IITs also, I can say. But still, NID is ha has a separate ball game altogether and that's only because of hard work of the student now you need to understand whatever quota whatever it is but nid gets the best 500 student among all the aspirant because that's the toughest exam in india and also iits so they are getting the cream the passionate students they work hard so you need to think that Design education is not about glory, it's not about glamour, it's not about always very uh, show offing. It's demand a lot of hard work, a lot of patience and a lot of introspection and development. So I just wanted to clear you about government design colleges. That's why thinking of government and private and arguing into that is a very wrong discussion. Then what you should think, what you should consider choosing about the college. First, you should think the passion. This also I have told in many videos. Because for NIFT, what you do, the mistake you do, it's not your choice which course you are getting. It's your luck, it's your rank. Either you have to work really hard that you come to top 100, top 200, so that you can actually achieve the course, you can actually achieve the centers, what you want. Otherwise, is out of your control then you are just running behind a name that's nift 
सो यू माइट बी अ पर्सन हु कैन बिकम अ वेरी गुड फैशन डिजाइनर बट यू गॉट अ चांस इन द टेक्सटाइल विल यू शाइन नो बिकॉज द माइंड सेट द ऑब्जर्वेशन स्किल एंड द attitudes are very different from a textile designer and to a fashion designer textile designer will look for something else fashion designer will look for something else and vice versa so this thing happens in nift and that is why nift actually degrading very slowly which no one will tell you because if you want to eat biryani and you get chicken pulao hmm. ingredients are merely same but there are hell and even difference in terms of taste in terms of color in terms of experience and that exactly happen with you when you choose any course out of one compulsion nift chahiye nift chahiye nift chahiye and believe me do you actually know all the famous fashion designer passed out from which college it's all about work so the first and foremost thing is to understand realize that what is exactly pulling you towards design field is it fashion design it's communication design your accessories design your product design it's very important because what i said that attitude observation temperaments all are different for each design course otherwise they could have been like old days bfa you learn and then you do anything you want to do but nowadays it is not that and it is not only about your attitude it is also now in terms of technology in terms of software in terms of infrastructure all are different one textile designer will handle different kind of machine one fashion designer will handle different kind of machine one communication designer will handle different kind of system all are different so you can't mix in any way that yeah i will learn anything because i have nift then i'll do anything industry won't accept you you won't get job accordingly you it will only frustrate you but it will be too late for you to understand when you are actually frustrated so if you want nift work really hard make this competition so hard that you get that kind of rank and you actually you actually choose your course you can choose your center you own nift don't come to nift like a beggar are kuch to de do try to own and start owning yourself from that very step otherwise you have lots of option now let me come to the private colleges i am not talking about fddi too much because fddi generally a uh, le lesser fees and fddi is mostly popular for footwear designing for footwear designing there are no other competition in the india for fddi but for the other course still they need to grow a lot and iit is iit it's uh, a different feel altogether if you go to iit iit is uh, more like a very serious platform it's not like a very design friendly atmosphere but still iit is iit as i told you if you get a chance again you have to be really good so getting iit is getting an id and getting nift with good rank it's actually owning your own decision you have worked hard and you have got the result and no one will come to take you back from there so these all are a different completely different ball game altogether after that there are a lot of colleges in terms of private colleges and uh, in terms of uh, those colleges who are stand alone stand alone means i just want to clear you that that nid is also a stand alone college nift is also a stand alone college because they are dealing with few particular design streams and there are colleges who has multiple streams and some of them gives you opportunity to interconnect multidisciplinary that also affects a lot in your overall developments first i told you already that it is the very important part to understand for which design course you are prepared second sad but very important point can you afford to establish a business or you need to go for a job you have to be very clear in your mind because to get a job to get a good salary you have to prepare yourself little differently in your college life and for establishing a business starting a business you have to do little differently those colleges who has multidisciplinary you should choose all those courses as a minor subject 
which will help you in terms of getting job now for business if you want to start a business right away then you have to choose all those minor courses which will help you to understand the business business management of design design business management you get this kind of courses also there so that also you need to be very clear so the thing is that ke job and business whatever you want to start you have to plan it from starting now the third thing third most important thing about choosing any college the thing is that degree this degree thing is important for the job or business criteria also there are many good colleges in india private colleges who has a good teaching pedagogy but very bad in degree so you might see that few colleges i never named and uh, in my comment box also if you ask i avoid so you need to understand that which college i continuously avoiding they have issues with their degree or they have issues with their placement if a college has a very good placement yeah very good placement record but less valuable degree then also i can talk about that college but a college is weaker in terms of placement in terms of degree very much weaker then i want mention those college now why i am not naming those college directly because i know people sees my uploads and uh, students are also uh, studying in those colleges so i have to be responsible for those student also i can't defame colleges here so that the students are studying there they get affected somehow they can get affected psychologically they can get affected in terms of uh, placements and all so i should not defame any college i am not against any colleges i am here to aware you that's why i just purposely don't name all those colleges and that is why i am traveling colleges to colleges to show the level of infrastructure a college should have so whenever you are going to judge any college just take a reference from my videos that which college i am showing how much infrastructure they have how they are preparing a student whatever they are putting effort for placement then you will understand that you should go for that college and shouldn't so now coming back to the main subject again that is degree now what is the importance that to get a government job what i have said it's not that you have to come out with those autonomous body only you can get job from any private college also if they have proper ugc recognized degree But nowadays with the demands it is very important for government to actually check those colleges check those colleges parameter but still you need to understand that one area is still not checked that is the strength of infrastructure i know colleges private colleges who actually hire infrastructure before admission time to show parents and students that they have a lot of infrastructure after that those all gone then student asked what happened they said okay, this is for uh, Uh, we have just uh, we are changing we are updating and all it happens in india these are the dark sides and student won't say because it is actually boomerang to their career so you need to understand but the thing is that for the specially parents i just wanted to clear that this private and government fight is no longer valid for design education it's much more important to understand your course to check thoroughly check the degree again i'm coming back to degree the thing is that k few colleges has degree from government few colleges take an associated degree means key art and design giving a degree from another college so you are studying in key art and design and you are getting a degree from another college these are actually sometimes not very proper also you need to understand that from that another college how good are they because ki adani then will say ki ha we have a degree associated with this associated with even the foreign colleges and all many things but are those colleges good go and check on google are those degrees valuable 
because many colleges also gives you some foreign college degree but you don't know that a foreign college can't give you a proper degree if they are not on indian soil that degree is not valid so these all the facts the dark side you need to know because these are happening with you still those colleges may have good infrastructure then if you are trying to go for a business uh, you just need some uh, training then it's fine it's like a coaching center it's like us we are coaching center we are teaching you for the admission at least i am uh, connected with my students after the admission also that's why we don't take many students few students then they work with us also in future my other projects but there are colleges like that they are actually registered as a coaching center that also many students and parents doesn't know so you need to check all of this because these all the dark side these all the dark sides for design education so the first part starts from you be aware about your course about your passion tendency and which field is good for you then find out that you are preparing for job or you are preparing for business if you are preparing for business any college will be good for you who has proper infrastructure and teaching pedagogy because there are many colleges also who are very uh good in terms of their intentions but ugc has few system ugc has few uh, factors which actually holding them back to get a ugc recognition but those colleges are really good if you want to go for business and all if you want to become a professional this is good because they are giving a good training but if you want to go for job there will be problem if you want to go for government job you might face problem if you want to go for higher studies in india they are also might face problem so the thing is that you need to check all of this and you have to decide your course and also is a very sad part that design education due to this infrastructure due to all of these uh, systems has some kind of cost to study so if you constantly look for a very cheap design college you will actually fall in trap you can't get a diamond at the price of american diamond there is a difference they might look same so the outcome also will be different in terms of salary in terms of job in terms of placement these all will be different so that area you need to understand so from my side i am checking those colleges who are actually inviting me and i am showing you those colleges infrastructures and all and the final thing is that hard work that is required wherever you are just understand one thing that for design education college is not fun life college is the most hard working period in your life then you be successful then you can be famous you can be glorious and glamorous but all after four or six years if you do the masters still if you have any questions any doubt i might losing any point comment box is there uh, and also all the options to connect us again like whatsapp instagram and you can email us also i have got few emails from the students and most of the students told that i want to make my parents proud it's a very good thought but how design is about discipline and design is about a uh, analytical approach and understanding bring that analytical approach and understanding in your life and your thought also if you think i am biased somewhere i am not logical i am saying something just to promote any college you can raise your objection in my comment box i visit a college i feel excited and whatever i feel i convey through my videos that's it and i'm doing it for you because i know again there are few colleges in india so if you think the number now near about 20000 students sit for nid and 500 student gets the admission so there are 19500 heartbroken students wait outside nid where they will go and same thing happens with nift also so my look after is are there any good private colleges so called completely private colleges they are equivalent to nift and nid or uh, at least better than others 
that is what only I am checking. I will wait for your remark. Thank you.